hello guys welcome to the last class of this week and today we're gonna finish unit number 10 and to, in order to do this we're gonna start with the pronunciation topic okay in the exercise number one we have practice saying the following sentence with the appropriate emphasis underline the stress words and also you're gonna model with double slash where there is a slight pause for example here what I love about Peter, and we have a little pause, is his great sense of humor. Okay, so you're going to do this with these sentences. And also, it's very important that you read these sentences out loud so that you can check if you're doing the correct emphasis. All right, do it. Remember, you have to underline the stress and double slash where it is a small pause. All right, if you're done, I'm gonna play the audio so that you can check the answer, but guys, please repeat out loud. This is very important. That's how we practice the pronunciation. Okay, here it goes. Track 2.33. A. What I love about Peter is his great sense of humor. B. The thing I can't stand about this country is the weather. C. What I really hate about my job is having to work on weekends. D. What I find annoying about politicians is that they never give a straight answer. E. The thing I find most difficult about English is the spelling. F. What I would really like to do is to take a year off. Great job. Yeah. So that you can double check, here are the answers. As you can see, in the letter C, we emphasize it really hate, job, the pause is before is, the emphasis is in work and weekends, okay? And like that in the rest of the sentences. All right? Now, in the exercise number two, it says, work with your partners. Use the sentences beginnings in exercise one to express your feelings about your family, your friends, your job, etc. Okay, so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna call your classmates and you're gonna read these sentences, but you're gonna change half of the sentence. You're just gonna use the beginnings of these sentences. So you're gonna say, What I love about, and you have to mention what you love about someone in your life. It can be someone from your family your boyfriend, your girlfriend, a friend of yours, or any other person. What I love about my dad is that he is very caring about us, or something like that. Okay? You don't have to write this. You're just going to tell these statements to your classmates. Okay? So call them, and when you finish, you will continue. Okay? Let's move on. In the next exercise, we have a reading and vocabulary. The exercise number one says, work with a partner. You're going to read an article about the role of advertising in the Iron Man movies. So you're gonna call your classmates and it says, say what kind of movie they are and how the usual audience is. Name some of the actors or characters who are in Iron Man. Also, name some of the cars, products, or brands that have appeared in Iron Man movies. Okay, so you're going to discuss all this with your classmates before you read the article. Okay, do it. And when you finish, we'll move on. All right. The next exercise says, read the article on page 111, ignoring the blanks. How many of your ideas are mentioned? Okay. So here we have the lecture, and, and as you can see, we have some blanks, but we're going to ignore those. So read it, and then check your ideas. All right, now if you're done, we're going to continue with the exercise number two. That is, six sentences have been removed from the article on page 111. Choose from the sentences A to G the ones which fits each blank one to six 
there is one extra sentence which you do not need to use okay so as you can see here we have seven sentences but here we are missing only six in these blanks so let's take a look to the number one in the last sentence before the number one it says and that's before we even consider the number of people who have visited the theater to watch one of the iron man films which of these sentences would you say that is related to the topic that we're talking about we're talking about the amount of people that goes to the movies to watch these films very good it will be letter d a quick glance at the box office statistics shows staggering numbers 585 million in ticket sales for the original iron man 621 million for iron man 2 and an incredible 2.4 billion for iron man 3 okay very good so the answer will be letter d thanks okay so take your time to read this lecture again and compare it with the sentences that we have on the previous page so that you can fill the blanks properly okay do it and when you finish i'm gonna give you the answers all right so let's take a look to the answers here they are all right well done guys let's continue now we have a speaking exercise it is anecdote you're gonna tell your partner about a blockbuster movie you have seen so you're gonna call your classmates but before you tell them anything first you have to follow these instructions you're gonna ask yourself the questions below and then you're gonna think about what to say and how to say it and when you're done you're gonna call your classmates and you're gonna tell them about the movie okay so first you have to think think of the name of the movie who was in the movie who directed it when and where did you see it did you see it in the movie theater did you see it in your house then who did you see it with with your friends with your family okay so you have to ask these questions to yourself and when you're ready you're gonna tell it as an anecdote remember guys you're not gonna say star wars uh, mark hamill said last year my family no you have to tell the anecdote you can start by saying uh, one movie that i saw recently was star wars i saw it with my family in the movie theater okay like that that is an anecdote okay so prepare yourself and when you're ready call your classmates and tell them your anecdote and when you finish guys that's gonna be it for today's class and for this week okay i hope that you enjoyed uh, the class that you understood everything and see you next week. Take care and goodbye.